diddly 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 do. Hello everyone, this is Jim of Small Time Outlaws, and welcome to my tutorial series on beginning game programming. Now I've learned quite a bit from making games and game prototypes for the past 10 years or so, and I thought to myself the other day, you know, it's time I impart some of this knowledge onto others, and in this case, others happens to be you, the YouTube viewer. Now I don't profess to have all the best techniques or even good techniques. Uh, my approach to game programming is one of infinitely many approaches and so you should just use these videos to supplement your knowledge as you develop your own methods. Alright, so now that that disclaimer is out of the way, I accept no responsibility for anybody pointing and laughing at you when they look at your code. Uh, this first series of videos I'm doing is for the near beginner with little or no programming experience. So if you're already comfortable with programming you may want to skip ahead or wait until I download or I upload my more advanced videos. However if you're new to Monkey which is the programming language, language I'm going to be using in these videos you may want to just skim through these beginning videos real fast to kind of get the syntax down. Alright, so let's get this under the way, underway. In this first video, I'll be introducing you to the Monkey programming language, walking you through the installation of Monkey, and showing you how to write your first Hello World-ish program. That, does that sound exciting? I'm excited. You should be excited. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open up your favorite browser and you can we'll, we'll type it down here monkey programming language oh look at that it's right there so you see it's monkeycoder.co.nz for New Zealand All right, so you might be asking yourself at this point well what is monkey I know well you know what a monkey is I'm sure but you never if you never heard of the monkey language what it is is it's a nice little programming language created by Mark Sibley who happens to be my third favorite New Zealander just behind Brett and Jermaine from Flight of the Concords um, and this language can be translated into many other different languages for use on other platforms uh, so if you go to the about and learn a little about those platforms and as you can see the targets it will export to is HTML5, Flash, iOS, Android, XNA, oh, of course Mac and Windows and it will also export to PlayStation Suite which allows you to make games for the PS Vita which is pretty awesome so let's go ahead and get, let's download this thing. Let's start programming. All right. So as you go to download, you see in their store, it's got the demo version, which only exports to HTML5, which is fine. That's all we need for these tutorials. Uh, we're not going to be releasing anything commercial, so we don't have to worry about the license. Uh, if you scroll down farther, you'll see that he's got the full version for $120, and that's that's it. That's all you pay one time, 120 which is actually pretty cheap when you think about what it does and when you compare it to some of the others. Um, you scroll down farther yeah you got this book, The Beginner's Guide book by Michael Hartliff. I bought it. It's actually pretty nice and he's made his own little game framework to make it even easier to make games but, in the, but so you can snatch that. Why not? Support this guy. Now you can download it here and it'll work just fine. The only problem with this download is that it's an older version of Monkey. It's almost a year old now. He hasn't updated the demo version. Probably, you know, convince more people to buy the pro version, which is well worth it, as I already said. But so you can download this here. It'll work fine for these beginning tutorials. But if you want to go into the advanced ones, you're going to need the patched version 
that I provide in the a link to in the description below this video and probably gonna have it in all my videos so once you get to the advanced version you can install my patch that upgrades updates the demo to the newest version or you can go ahead and buy it you know if you decide you want to make games and sell them but so yeah once you get either this down this version downloaded or the version I provide in the description box it's just a little zip file extract it once you get it extracted you'll file in this folder here and inside you'll find monk.exe or if you're on Windows you'll see or if you're on Mac I'm sorry if you're on Mac you'll see that but it won't look like that it'll look like this but it's that I don't know much about Mac but I do know that that's that um, so once you double click this click click monkey pop monk pops up this is just the IDE there are other IDEs you can use to program in monkey but for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna use this one for the beginning and then I might use a different one later on because it's better but this works for now trust me it's good so go ahead and click as I did on new this opens up a new file now monkey just like most programming languages needs a place to start this is where the operating system is gonna start execution of your program so like in C++ you need a main function or in Java you need a main method inside the class for a particular file and so without it it doesn't it doesn't have a clue so watch I'll, I'll try and build it right now BAM error function main not found so first thing we gotta have to do in every monkey program is create the main function now if you don't know what a function is yet that's okay I'm gonna go over it in my next tutorial video so for right now all you have to do is just type in exactly what I'm typing and observe the magic so uh, let's go ahead and run this right now you can kinda see the build process in a little further detail as you can see you can select the target the only ones there is HTML5 because this is just a demo and click build successful build so what it, first thing it did was open up a little mini HTTP server now this is because there are some features of HTML5 that will only work if it's being executed from a server rather than a local file and this is per browser it's different browsers do different things so instead of having to set up your your computer as a web server mark made a nice little server that runs automatically gave it to us for free because he's a nice guy like I said third favorite New Zealander and works great and so after it opens that it opens your browser and launches the program and as you can see there's nothing because I haven't done anything so let's go back to monk close the output and let's put something on there so one of the functions in monkey is to print and just like most beginning tutorial videos we're gonna do our little hello well we're gonna say hello monkey because we're monkeys Oh, we click build run pop pop and now I close that before you can leave it open and so it won't keep opening it and then as you can see it put hello monkey in a little console down here isn't that nice and uh, so yeah there's your intro to monkey that's how it works um, so join me in the next one Join me on this adventure, please.